Hi, thanks for contacting me. I'm going to show you the steps I outlined to you on how to get started on this topic. We can begin by under the search clicking advanced search here. Okay, and once one search has loaded, we can enter um, library and spaces, library spaces and teens, which is separated by this and Boolean operator. Go ahead and click search after that. Okay, now once your results have loaded, we can apply limiters off to the left side of the page, such as peer review journals, since we want that, articles. We can then go ahead and apply the filters. Okay, and once the results are there, we can go back to the left side of the page and apply more limiters, such as, such as the dates here. Let's do this, 2018 to 20, 2023, for more relevancy to more current. Okay, getting in the teen zone, evaluating young adult spaces and public libraries through a user experience framework. This can help us get started, but if that's not enough, we can open another tab or window and go back to the library homepage. Click Articles and Databases. We can go to click on L and scroll down to say Library and Information Science Source. And then once EBSCO hosts is loaded, we can go down and check off scholarly, scholarly peer-reviewed journals. And then go back up to the top and enter public library and spaces. Separate by, again, separated by the Boolean operator, then enter teens, and then click search. Okay, we got some results. Scrolling, beginning to scroll down, design public library young adult spaces with teens. Scrolling down some more. This is a pretty cool place. A user tend study of public library young adult spaces. But, um, so these can be re relevant, but the dates might, uh, may, may not be as current. So if you want to change, say, change the dates, go ahead and off to the left side, left side of the page, go ahead and do that or apply more limiters. But I think there should be enough here to get you started. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to ask. Thanks.